Hello, I am Jolie Mutesi and welcome to my YouTube channel. To those of you who haven't clicked the subscription button, quickly do so and remember to also click the notification bell so that you can become part of the family. And today, welcome to Inspiration Time. So during our inspiration time today, I'm going to share with you uh, my five hard truths about growth. And to begin with, my first hard truth about growth is actually um, accepting growth, acknowledging that you're a grown up, you're, not, you're no longer a juvenile. That transition of, to transition from being a juvenile to an adult, I feel this is something that nobody does prepare us for. Uh, all of a sudden, you're you know, kicked out of high school. Most of us go through this transition or this phase of life from as teenagers where we're excited about the world, uh, we are adolescents, you know, uh, the peer pressure is very high and I believe that nobody does prepare us to go through this phase of life to transition, you know, to give you an alarm like, hey, um, you need to transition from being a juvenile to now you're now an adult, you're no longer a teenager, you're now 20, you're now 21 or, or even 19 because this is a stage of life that is very inevitable for every human being like before you become an adult then you will have to go through a phase of life that introduces you to adulthood this is the first truth about growth something that i have seen or that i've gone through myself and that i've also seen my friends go through that and you know once you acknowledge or embrace or uh, believe now that you are no longer a juvenile you have shifted to be an adult it takes us to the second hard truth of growth that i'm about to share with you today which is responsibilities once you acknowledge or once you grow through that transition once you endure the transition period of you know transitioning from a juvenile to an adult when you become an adult adults take decisions adults become responsible so adults do take decisions adults do be responsible so when you become responsible it is going to introduce us to the third truth about third bitter truth about growth which is accountability i'd like to marry the first second and third together so that i can give a brief explanation or also give a brief uh, story about how i got to introduce to that phase of life so honestly, for me, being uh, speaking the truth, I think responsibility and growth kicked in at a very young age of life, at a very tender age, as early as primary four. In school, I was introduced to leadership. I was, as early as primary four, I think that is when I started to take up responsibilities as a health and environmental minister. So for me, I believe growth and responsibility, I was lucky that I had to endure that period of life, not because I was a saint. I did make, I did make mistakes. I do still make mistakes to date and I've never been a saint and I'm not even planning to be a saint. But honestly, I think for me, uh, the growth and responsibility part and being accountable kicked in as early as primary four. I think I must have been around uh, 10 or 11 years of age. I was in Uganda. I was introduced to be the health and uh, health and environmental minister in school, Hima Primary School in Kasese District. Whoever I went with to that school, I need to see your comments in the comment section. So for me, I was introduced to responsibility at a very young age. And it was very easy for me to go through that transition because I didn't feel like I, I was deprived of anything. It was a very exciting phase of my life because I had privileges, my teachers did love me so much. And then when you know that you have to, your leader in school, you have to be at the best of your behavior so that you can lead by example. So for me, I can say that um, that period of growth I, yes, I did make a lot of mistakes. I'm still making mistakes and I will make mistakes as long as I live uh, and as long as I have to learn and grow through them. So I did face that stage of life of growth, accepting growth at a very tender age. And again, I was raised by a single mother, so I didn't have time to, you know, to play around with life as early as 10 years and then when i came in rwanda uh, in my high school i was also uh, a head girl i was the head of the prefectorial body where i went to in school then after that 
uh, I think Miss Rwanda kicked in. So for me, I feel taking up responsibilities and always wanting to be at the best, you know, at the best behavior that I can be. It is something that was infused in me at a very young age in school. I must say I am among those lucky people that did go through that phase smoothly because I didn't have to feel like I was, I had to deprive myself of anything or I had to compromise on, um, on my wants or on my desires. I enjoyed that phase of growth. I enjoyed growing. I enjoyed leadership. I enjoyed to see myself take up responsibilities up to date. And I'm very thankful for, for my teachers wherever I went to. And this is going to introduce us to you the next fourth hard truth about growth, which is friendships. I honestly feel like uh, the friendships that I'm making now, um, being an introvert, of course, I have very few people in my circle. And I, I think I started, um, I started screening my list of friendships uh, something like five, four, three or five years ago. Um, you know the saying, what, they, what people say, that um, when you interact with five fools, you're most likely to be the sixth fool. So for me now, I am at stage of life uh, whereby I, I no longer make, you know, um, the you only live once friends, you know, the YOLO mentality, the only, you only live once friends. I'm at a point of life whereby I'm making I want to interact with people that actually do add value to me. I want to interact with people that challenge me to be uh, at the best, the best that I, I can be. Of course, I'm, in, in, I'm into business and I also believe in the saying that um, uh, your network is your net worth. So for me, I have learned I'm just trying as much as I can. Yes, it is very hurting for you to uh, wake up one morning and decide to cut off all your friends because not all of us do grow at the same time. Not all of us do have the same priorities at the same time. You'll find that you are trying, you're growing more, uh, you know, you're growing faster than actually your brother or your sister or your friends. So for me, I feel like friendships in our 20s we need to start as early as we can to decide who should I relate with? Who should I, um, am I making friends simply because I want to go out with you simply because you're fun or simply because uh, maybe you have some good money so that we can share some good times. I feel like in my 20s or the third, the fourth hard truth about growth is nobody warns us, you know, we only have parents that do want us, you know, uh, do not be friends with, with a child of so-and-so simply because they're misbehaving. And you may not be an alcoholic, but actually have no uh, bigger values. So for me, friendships is another fourth truth about growth, fourth truth, a hard truth about growth that nobody, uh, that I feel any young person should look into as early as possible. You know, choose the right friends. Uh, look for friends like my my principle now as i'm choosing friends is we do not have to have so many things in common but we must have a purpose in common once we lack a purpose in common then i have made it very intentional that i'll never dine with anybody who doesn't you know uh even if we dine one or once or twice, I just want to make it very intentional to to be around people that we have this, we share the same vision, we share the purpose. I don't care what are your hobbies or whatever an admirable behavior that you do have. In as long as we do have a purpose in common, then I'm coming to be, I'm, I'm gonna be in your circle. So. Uh, the fifth hard truth about about uh, about growth is is discipline. Do not judge me. I've never been a saint. I am not the most disciplined human being on earth. But one thing I need to share with you is growth or growing without discipline will lead you. We just lead you to hell. I can say. And the discipline I'm talking about here is not the discipline of being perfect. It is the discipline of respecting other people's opinions, respecting the people you're with. If it is time, if, if you have an appointment with people or just that small discipline. If you set goals, then, you know, 
uh, look through your goals. Uh, if you have an appointment with people, then obey that appointment. If, if you set a certain time, then the discipline of knowing what to do, with whom to do it with, and the right time to do things. You can be the most hardworking human being. You can be uh, uh, the most responsible. No, you can never be responsible without discipline. Actually, discipline is a very strong pillar of the other four. Of the other four, it is the pillar of growth. It is a pillar of friendships. It is a pillar of responsibility. And it is a pillar of accountability. Thank you so much. These were my five hard truths about growth. Uh, let me know what you think. What do you think about growth? What are your also what are your truths about growth? Uh, things that people never prepare for. Yeah, let's interact. Let me see your comments in the comment section. If you learn one or two things from here, please let us see. Uh, let's interact uh, in our comment section. And if you haven't subscribed, please go hit the subscription button. Press the notification bell and let's be part of the bigger Jolly family.